So today is my last day in the States. Um, I'm going to head up to the Richard Nixon Presidential Library Museum. Um, also do a bit of souvenir shopping and see what else I can find uh, with what time I've got left. So we just arrived um, at the uh, Library Museum. It took around about 20-25 minutes from Anaheim. Uh, there is an entrance fee and it is um, $16 uh, for an adult. So the museum itself is full of history. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to upload a separate video to show you the full museum. And in this one it just shows you a quick overview uh, of what there is to see. Museum part and um, it costs $16 to go into there. Uh, with that prize of admission, you get to go around the grounds, um, his actual house where he lived, and his Marine One uh, helicopter, which we'll see shortly. Unfortunately, you're not actually allowed to take photos or video inside uh, Marine One. Um, but there is a tour guide, you can actually go inside and have a look around. Um, and it's quite surprising, such a tight space in there uh, fits 16 people. This is the furniture that the family had at the time. This was a, a quilt and blanket that were wedding presents to the parents when they got married. So, you know, it's very authentic. And then including all of this furniture here, um, almost all of this goes instruments here. President Nixon played the piano, the clarinet, saxophone, and violin, and an accordion. So he was pretty musical, and in fact, he was known to have said, had he not become a politician, he would have been a musician. <laughs> now, if you look over the medicine, or excuse me, the china cabinet here, you see the photograph above it. This is a composite picture of the five sons when they were each about four years old. Now, only four of them were born or lived in this house. The last one was born later, and I'll tell you about him. Now, the first one on the left, 
The, uh, the stove is, this is not original to the house, but they would have had a stove that looked like this at that time. Same thing with the ice box. It, uh, it's uh, what they would be in the canning room and kind of an all-purpose room, and that was the actual saddle that was used by um, Frank Nixon. Of course, he didn't keep it in here, but we do just because it uh, is convenient for you to see it. And the farm room there is... So it's a nice little tour around uh, the Nixon home. Um, all the staff are voluntary here, uh, but everyone I've met has been really, really friendly, really nice. Uh, and they've been able to answer all the questions um, I wanted to ask. Uh, so we're just going to go over to his final resting place now.